Okay, so somebody had a question about stitching the mosaic panels together if you're doing more than two panels. Uh, so if you remember from the last video, I was saying not to go over four uh, as a rule, just because sometimes it bogs down APP when you're trying to do large mosaics, uh, usually more than four panels. So last night I just shot four panels of NGC 7000 just to show you how to stitch them together. So we're gonna wind up doing two stacks uh, panel one, panel two, and then we'll go back and we'll stitch together panels three and four, and then we'll stitch them all together. So let's go ahead and set my directory. There we go. And we're going to untick multi session processing, and then let's go ahead and load in our lights for the first two panels. So that's going to be uh, Astro File. There's our plan. Here's our lights. So you'll see there's four panels, panel one of one, panel one of two, and then panel two of one, panel two of two. And in these, there are both uh, uh, HO and O scale, or excuse me, <laughs> I'm thinking about trains. There's both both HO and uh, HA and O3. Uh, and one thing I did not do is I didn't get rid of my uh, JPEGs in there. So let me take care of that real quick. Okay, now that we get this pesky JPEGs out of the way, uh, let's see, yeah, Astro file, let's go into the plan, and we should now just have FITS files. So here we are, so we have our uh, oxygen, and we have our HA, so let's just open this up a little bit, there we go, HAs and O's, and the first thing I'm going to do is just load in the HAs. And then we're going to add in the O's. All right, then we're going to go back. We'll go up to the second panel. Which, so we got to make sure we put these in correct order. So this is pan, uh, mosaic panel one of one, mosaic panel one of two, and then you got two of one of two of two. Um, so they're they're going to meet at least on two sides of each one but because of the way they shot in the camera i'm going to make sure that i do the ones that are next to each other just so that there's no confusion about it so let's uh let me make this bigger <clears throat> there we go and uh let's see yeah so we did one of one we're on one of two now so we're gonna do ha and then we'll finally add in the oxygen. All right, so that should be it for that. Uh, I'm gonna go through, just quickly check my frames and uh, just see how they look. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, the oxygens are pretty light. There's obviously some in there. And one of the things, if you saw while I was speeding through there, um, there was a uh, meridian flip that was in the middle of this data. So uh, we got everything turned which way back and forth. Uh, kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but just to show you that it can, it is capable of doing it. So let's go ahead and load in our masters. Okay, so calibrate, we're going to leave as the masters. We're not going to worry about analyze stars. Let's go into register. We're going to tick dynamic distortion correction. This go around for the first two sets of panels, we're going to leave same cameras and optics ticked. Uh, this is going to change when we go to stitch everything together. So uh, for right now, again, if the frames will be registered to have some degree of, oh, let's see, here you go. If all the frames to be registered are taken with the same camera and aptics and aren't touched or warped by our registration module from APP, enable it, otherwise disable it. So we're gonna leave it enabled for the first pass. The re registration mode, we're gonna choose mosaic. And there we go. We're gonna go into normalize. We're gonna leave normalize as it is. And then when we go into integrate, uh, we're going to leave this as it is for right now. I am not going to do LNC yet. 
but I am going to do multi-band blending. All right, so let's let this one run, and we'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. So we've got our two panels uh, combined together for so panel one, panel two. So there's our hydrogen alpha, and there's our O3. Put this off to the side. Let's just take a little quick look. As you can see, there's one and two on the oxygen, and there's one and two of the H alpha. Okay, now we got to get the rest of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to load. We're going to clean out. Well, no, we're going to clean all those out. So now all the subs are gone again. So we look down here, they're no longer there. So now I'm going to go back in, I'm going to load my lights. And this time we're going to load, uh, where we got plan lights we've got one 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 two we're now going to do two one two two so we're going to go into two one take in our ha okay those are all in uh we're going to rename this panel two and two uh, we're leaving our masters, everything else are the same, calibrates the same, everything, we're not changing anything on this, uh, normalize, I did miss the scale stop on the uh, registration earlier, but it asked me, so we went ahead and put in 10. Again, I'm leaving same camera and optics initiated for right now, we will change that, we go back around, and uh, let's just run through these real quick, I'm not going to let you have to sit here and watch all this. So I'm just going to burn through these and just make sure that I don't have any bad frames in there. Okay, so it looks like everything's good. All our flames are in. We're good to go here. Uh, again, let's just run through. Just make sure I had this all correct. Multi channel. Analyze. A register. Again, we're going to use the dynamic distortion. Leaving same camera and optics. We go, whoops, we go to normalize. Look good there. And six is great. Integrate per channel. And we're going to go to integrate. So again, we change, change the uh, naming feature on it. We hit OK. We're not going to disable the same camera and optics just yet. And we're going to let this run. And based on the last one, be about 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll go ahead and let this run for a few minutes and then we'll get our other set of stacks. Okay, there we go. So we got our other two panels. So panels uh, 2 1 and 2 2. Now that we have those. There's our HA and our O3. Um, Okay, so I'm not sure why uh, APP got a little confused there, but apparently it did. So not a big deal. We'll just fire it back off again. We, we have our four stacks. completed so two channels each so there's our first panel stack of one and two second panel stack of two and two there's our second stack of our first stack of oxygen panel one of two and then two of two so there's four panels total and remember two of these are stitched together already so we have two and two so we go in we're gonna uncheck multi-session processing on our lights we're gonna go ahead and select the panels, again, you don't have to do them in order. Uh, just load them in there. It's going to ask you if you're sure you really want to do this. And you're just going to click, yes, I do. And we'll add in the second panels. Make sure I choose the right thing there. And then let's see, go to three. We'll do the oxygen. 
Again, I'm just hitting yes because it keeps asking if I'm sure I want to redo these registrations. Or if I want to add these registrations because I've already registered them and yes, I've already done them. And then we'll add in, add in our masters again. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if you really need to add in the masters back in again. I've just, I've always done it. Uh, just because it's part of the integration. So I've just, I've always done it. I haven't, haven't questioned whether or not I should. I mean, I guess you could try it. It doesn't take that long for these to run. Uh, once you've got all this data in so I mean you can you can experiment with it and see if it really matters Do a master dark flats under alpha And then the last dark flat this is oxygen 3 And then we'll load our master bias There we go all channel Calibrate we're not doing anything with nor analyze stars when we go to register we're going to tick use the dynamic distortion correction. So we're going to click that. We are unticking same camera and optics because everything has already been registered. Registration mode, we're going to go to mosaic. There we go. And on scale stop, we're going to change that to, uh, to 10. And then that's pretty much it. Normalize, we shouldn't have anything changed over on there. On the integration, however, I am going to add in a 1 uh, LNC. Now, you know, this is kind of interesting. I really don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to kind of see. Yeah, you know what? I am going to use it um, only because the first set of frames for the HA, I had some varying illumination on it. So I uh, probably should have done that for the whole stack, but I don't know. Let's just try it. Let's do some enable multiband blending and then we're going to integrate and we'll call this the NGC 7000 mosaic test and hit OK. And there we go. So we should now have four panels all stitched together. There's our oxygen. And then this should be our hydrogen. Oh yeah, lots of great data there. Um, interestingly enough, and I don't know why it does this, but uh, when you do the dynamic distortion, <laughs> It peels these edges out for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Um, it, sometimes it does it on some, sometimes it doesn't. I, I really couldn't tell you there's any rhyme or reason why it does that. Uh, so there's four panels all put together. Let's just go ahead and take it into um, combined RGB. And we're gonna change this to uh, H002. We'll add in our channel. So here's our master hydrogen alpha. And then we'll add in our oxygen three master. So calculate. Ah, beautiful. So, yep, there we go. There's your four panel mosaic, divided into two panels each, and then stitched together. Does a really good job, for, near as I can tell. There's, a, there's no lines of separation, no visible lines of separation that I can see. So yeah, uh, successfully done. So if we look back into our uh, our save file here again so there's panels one and two three and four however they're going to be paired so there's uh, two panels for one master panel two panels for the second master panel and then that gave you the full master so hope that helped uh, let me know if you got questions